of October reading and happy birthday as well. Um, yeah, I wanted to do you first because it seems like Libra is the most watch sign um, of my videos. So I figured I should just go ahead and honor you for your birthday and appreciate you um, in watching my videos in regard to you. So I'm feeling too, I want to do this a little bit differently. I'm not sure why I want to do your person and you. Okay, I'm going to do that with this deck. It's your person. Show me this person. Love and relationship reading. Four of Wands. With death on the bottom of the deck. That's what I feel like I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I'm going to pull another one for you now, and I'm also going to take the bottom of the deck in regard to that. So, Four of Wands. Death card. Scorpio energy, you have fire energy as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you have movement, you have transformation, you have shifting energies, thought forms, the way that we feel through things, the way that we re-engage in getting ourselves to the next level within relationships, within ourselves, what we need to die, what we need to allow to die within us so we can move forward. You know, if you have an aspect of your relationship that you are experiencing to the point where it's starting to bring up understanding within stagnancy, within yourself, within your thought forms, within the way that you go about your relationships, the patterns that you procreate, um, I think it's important to recognize if that is actually moving you towards the new direction that you want to be in. Is this overall energy or is this the partner? It's for the, it's for both, but okay. Thank you. Okay. So this is the partner. It's the two, I'm sorry, the six of um, cups and the lovers. So someone from your past, someone that you've experienced before, this is kind of what I'm talking about. It feels that they want to, they might be evaluating this within themselves. And I think if they are somebody from the past, it's more so in favor of them evaluating um, the new path that they want to secure, but also not just moving past what has happened in the past, but, you know, it's not about negating things. It's about actually taking stock in what we contribute to the outcome that is now and what we will contribute to what is moving on into the further aspects of your relationship this does not mean you have to be separated from this person this can very much mean that you love this person we have two cards of deep soulmate energy here you know this doesn't have to mean that this is somebody you know coming back from the past it very well could be if that's a situation for you also this is not a bruise i don't even know if you can see it or not but um I do cupping, therapeutic cupping, and I cupped my neck a little aggressively the other day. And um, yeah, but what I'm feeling here is like, this is um, an energy where I feel like we're learning lessons in regard to what they're experiencing. Like they've, they're, they're learning lessons in regard to what it is that will move them forward, what it is in evaluation to you that they pick up on, you know, that they combine with what they're learning how do i say this to you i feel that there's like a peaceful air here in regard to what they're learning and i'm sorry in regard to how they are feeling about conveying it this is a way fucking out there message okay show me show me libra in this situation
So you have the King of Pentacles in reverse, Libra, with the Devil. Now, some of you, this could be their energy. This is a general tarot reading, so the energies can go either way. You need to figure out which one it is for you, how that works for you. You know, nothing's written in stone. These are cards. But um, the King of Pentacles in reverse with the devil, you know, first off, my initial hit is it feels like there's a level of, like how we go about what we want in the future is very dependent on what we release now, what we willingly communicate to release now so that we can progress uh, with like sure footing, you know, and it feels also like if this is you, Libra, it's almost like it's a release of the need to want to control something. And it's not necessarily controlling something because you think you're just right it's more like the need to just control in general and it's not even like well thought because some of the things that i'm feeling are like they're nonsensical and it's like it's you you've had an interesting attachment style to them it's something that you it's something that was brought it's like, it's like when you learn things from childhood, like those are learned patterns, the way that we operate in life, you know, it's almost as if um, the release of this, the letting go of this particular thing in context to how you get your relationship moving forward is more in regard to like releasing pettiness, releasing um, control, needing to be right, um, releasing, you know, it's almost like an unhealthy attachment to wanting to be right, to wanting to be correct in some way. It's almost like going above and beyond to like prove your point or be correct. But yeah, your, your person, and I feel though too, it's like there's an energy here where it's like, there's space and time enough for both of you to learn. There's space enough and time enough here for both of you to understand and give one another the space and time to understand each other and how you're, you're approaching the situation. That's what it feels like. Show me more. It's a strength. And what lies between you is the magician. Okay, so to recap this energy, this is moving forward. Remember, wanting to move forward in a, in a new direction, but the new direction happens when we have clarity of what it is that we have already experienced. We can't bring back you don't want to bring back the past, but you can't bring back certain aspects of the past into the future and want them to work. Um, you need to, it's really important for both of you to communicate what you're releasing and move forward. You know, it's um, very much about communication. I feel this is not a typical reading. I'm being feeling very much to, um, speak it this way, you know, and I'm not somebody who's going to say I'm being told like, I'm, 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 I'm feeling things. I'm intuiting things. I get physical feelings like I, you know, and so I don't want to say I'm being told like somebody's here telling me like, I just get a bunch of different things. I guess that's me being told, but like, it kind of irks me when tarot readers are like, Oh, they said this. I'm like, okay. Anyways, sorry. I don't mean to go off into a tangent. But, um, yeah, this is, this is the desire to have a deep look in regard to what it is. Both of you are having a deep look in regard to your own situations leading towards the future. This is foundations. This is connection. This is commitment. This is what happens before 
this is this is when I say commitment, this is what happens before commitment. It's like foundation work. You know, the three of pentacles in regard to this, and I'm picking up on that right now, is it's like, you know, it's a willingness to create together in in um it's social standing, it's it's your home together, your life together, like choosing to work together in regard to how you see things move forward just in how your communication is again this is very much about communication for some of you um you know this is i'm sorry this reading is not like typical readings i'm getting a lot of interesting specific things and that's just kind of how i have to pay attention to it and maybe i'll do another one because you're such a good libra and it's your birthday month who knows i don't know maybe not um, but anyways, yeah, the magician here, I definitely feel that this is moving forward into something, but it's also about, um, having the awareness, foresight, but also having the patience it is to, um, move forward with this person. I don't feel that it's a bad thing. I feel that it's more like a cautious, um, action in regard to how you want to go about these things, how you want to move forward. I'm going to go ahead and pull some clarifiers, um, clarifiers, but yeah, show me the devil. I'm sorry. Show me death. Show me death. So the three of cups to move forward harmoniously with this person, it's like you have to, you know, to, to choose the direction that you want to go in with this person, with the two of wands, you have to, you have to come to an agreement, you have to come to a communication with them, you have to make sure that how it is that you I feel project yourself, I feel project yourself, project yourself and still be heard. There's still this weird feeling of like, and still be heard, like, and still be heard. It's like, I want to be heard. This, be careful about this, this king of pentacles in reverse. Don't be so stubborn that your words become toxic and manipulative. Don't be so stubborn that you, <laughs> you step on this situation. What the hell? Okay. Show me the King of Pentacles. Show me the King of Pentacles. Okay. You've got the world with the Six of Wands. You know, again, like what I'm talking about here, learning to not be a toxic communicator learning to not be stuck in where it is that you have to be right, you know, coming from where you need to be right, whatever it is, like I'm feeling being right, being heard, being right, but dominating a conversation, dominating the way that it goes. It's like a level of ascension within how you um, choose to communicate. It's like the words that come out of your mouth from this point on are more so in tandem with how your partner will respond, how your partner will respond. That's what I'm feeling here. It's like a death to the way that you chose to act, the way that you chose to be. I don't feel this reading is like the end of the world for somebody or like your relationships crumbling. If anything, I feel that this is a, a relationship reading where it's more like these are fine tuning points where you're stabilizing energy so that you can both be clear in how you want to communicate with one another, but also take into consideration in regard how you um, operate within yourself so that you can have a smoother future together versus something choppy. Um, you have the Six of Wands here as well. Again, another card of uh, communication, but definite movement, you know, movement into the future, you know. This is future energy, the world, you know, this, sure, it's travel, sure, it's, you know, moving somewhere, sure, it's um, 
you know, I feel that this is learning. I feel that this is learning deep, deep understanding of self and how we, how we evaluate what we contribute. How, like, and it's split second. It's split second. Like how we evaluate what we contribute to our communication within our communication so that the dialogue is um, not tarnished. Okay. Yeah, that's what you are learning or they are learning, or it could be a combination of both. Somebody, that's a message for somebody there. Show me the devil in reverse. Show me the devil in reverse. Again, you have strength at the bottom of the deck. I feel that with that too, before I even say anything, I feel with strength, it's almost like getting... It's like having the patience to understand yourself. Having the patience to understand yourself and how you communicate, how you get things across, Libra. It's growing up. It's a, it's a baby step, a baby. I feel baby. I don't know. Baby what? It's a baby steps. The temperance and the three of swords in regard to the devil in reverse. So, you know, communication sometimes can be really harsh. This doesn't always have to mean third party situations. It doesn't always have to mean your heart is broken. Swords energy represents communication. Sometimes when communication is harsh, sometimes when communication is it's all about me or like it's it's everything I say has to be right, you know, at the detriment of um, my partner or their their trust in how I convey my messages. It's almost like an onslaught, an emotional onslaught. These are the things that I'm feeling right now. Like they are not from they're from the cards, but they're also like my I'm an intuitive empath. So this is what how I read. Sometimes I'm having a very interesting reading with this. This feels like communication again, how you communicate with your partner, what it is um, in regard to your love styles, you know, in regard to what it is that they need from you. I feel that whatever has separated you in regard to communication, you don't have to be separated. I don't think that you're separated. I feel that this is in regard to how you talk to one another, but I feel it's almost as if sometimes like you have created this pretty picture or image in your head or like maybe that's how it was. Like, I don't want to say it's a farce. I don't think it's a farce, actually. I feel like it's almost like how you've experienced something. It's how you've experienced something and how it has hit you and made you feel. So you have your own images and attachments of the emotions that should be in that should coincide with that. But when they communicate, it's almost as if um, what happens is like, they don't see that they don't, they don't recognize how you feel about it. And so they go ahead and the way that they communicate, it's harsh, it breaks everything down, and it doesn't gel with your picture. That's for some of you. But I feel whoever this is, though, whoever is this recipient of harsh communication, could be you, could be your partner, I feel that it left them feeling very un, unpaid attention to isn't the right word. It's not even a word. Un, uncared for in the dark. It left somebody feeling very in the dark and kind of alone with themselves in regard to how they process things and at this point they are trying to heal that and it's a connection it's a conscious effort to heal that with temperance as well but it's also a healing of the inner self this is a very in-depth reading in regard to self looking at self looking at our motives and the communication this is a very interesting reading libra i don't know if this is going to gel with anybody here i really hope it does but i don't know you know I may do another one, who knows. But for strength to be here at the bottom, 
in regard to this as well. I feel that this is enough definite need and necessity for patience within your situation just because that is key. That's key. And like there's something also about like needing to be, um, instead of having to be right or having to be heard, it's almost like needing to be noble in regard to how you allow your partner's space and platform to speak without trying to speak after them or trying to over speak them like you know we listen to process words we don't listen to speak you know i mean we yes we do communicate things afterwards but like a lot of people just they're waiting to talk they don't they don't process the stuff they don't they don't feel the information they're just like waiting for their person to stop talking or waiting for somebody to stop talking so they can talk it's not about that it's about like conquering that energy so that you it's like that's part of it that's really really heavy it's almost like i feel somebody like begrudgingly like holding on to like like that energy but it's from a long time ago and it's actually poisoned so many ways of communication just within your life or their life whomever this is it's almost like it's been a steady issue that has haunted this person in regard to how they communicate and it stops them from meeting new people or like making different it's it stops something it stops something it's weird okay show me strength please show me strength the chariot so you know the chariot and the page of swords at the bottom of the deck with this patience with this um definite discerning decision within discernment on your or their part you move forward into a new direction and it's quite i feel transformative i feel um it's quite liberating for both you know don't be afraid to communicate bluntly. It's a page of swords here. Don't forget to communicate bluntly, but also don't forget to use... Libra, you're an air sign. A lot of the times you want to be a little bit more so on the logical side. Sometimes the romantic aspect of you can pop through as well, and you can get a little clouded by your emotions. But I feel that it's important here to also allow some level of emotional aspect in so that you can have more feeling here in regard to how you communicate and how you present yourself. How do I say that? Is there more? It's like being, being open to being I don't want to say fanciful. That's not the right word. Fanciful isn't the word. More so like, like allowing yourself to be playful, allowing, allowing yourself to have more of an imagination in regard to how you communicate, how you convey of yourself. And this isn't just like a communication style with your partner. Yes, it is. But this is also a communication within yourself. How do we see within ourselves so we're not constantly picking ourselves apart? Where do we allow that child like, you know, you, I, I wouldn't think that you would be so harsh on a child. Like I would think that you would view them as a child learning small baby steps progress but also we have to be conscious of this child and we have to be compassionate of this child that is what i'm feeling that you need to incorporate within yourself that's what i'm feeling that you have to like be sure to infuse in your communication with your person but also within how you get to this stage within yourself this is a very interesting reading i'm not i don't know i think i want it to be more like organized and it's just all over the place. Show me the magician. Show me the magician. So you have six of swords, death, the lovers, the seven of cups, and the five of cups. So again, needing to definitely see this situation for what it's been and allow for some serious transformation. This person is part of you. 
this is just a fact. This person is part of you. And, you know, don't be so separate as like, I felt like a huge, like, no, they're not part of me. I'm like, yeah, they are a part of you. They're definitely part of you. Um, you need to be conscious of how you go about loving, how you choose to love. I would really, I feel it's important to pay attention to love styles. Um, I said in another video at some point, I don't know enough about love styles or love languages. I keep meaning to learn about, about it, but um, I haven't yet. But I feel that this is a definite need to um, pick and choose wisely in regard to how you communicate your emotions. You know, have a devil and an angel, have a devil and an angel on your shoulders, like consider like thinking that making that mental picture when you communicate this is a weird reading um okay yeah i don't know i feel i feel what the fuck do i feel There's an energy here where it's like the whole crux of this really kind of falls upon like the stability within the communication of this relationship. It's lost stability from that, but also decision making here. Show me five of cups. King of Cups, the moon at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you need to forget certain things that you want to bring up. I feel like that, that ship has sailed what does that mean? You need to forget about certain things that you want to bring up. It's almost like the things that you might want to hold on to in regard to fighting. This may be from past relationships in regard to your communication styles, in regard to how you um, go about how you go about expressing yourself when I feel that you're upset, when you're feeling regretful, heartbreak, like when you feel confronted, I feel like there's almost a way that you lashed out at somebody else or somebody else lashed out at you that you really need to divorce yourself from. If this is a past partner, divorce is the word. Um, but do not bring it into your situation, especially with this new person or with the person that you're with. If this is somebody that you have not divorced or you're still in a relationship with, maybe divorce is not the way to go, but a full overhaul in regard to communication. This whole reading is about communication, but moving in a positive direction once that's attained. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a lot to deal with. Yeah. So walking away from... Come on. I feel very, very much communication that hurt somebody, communication that was very harsh. Again, this type of communication that hurt somebody's feelings. I don't feel that that's third party situations. I don't. This person loves you. You love them. Ten of coins, king of cups. I, I don't, I, I don't, I think that this, this is the end of an era in regard to the connection. It's a transformation. I don't think that this is a death to you or your partner of the relationship. I think that this is a choice within how we release what it is that we've experienced. So, um, yeah, 
this person loves you and this is this is more so for the long haul this is more so for the long haul i don't feel that this is cancer scorpio pisces energy doesn't have to be definitely feels like somebody that is loving though feels like they <laughs> like the arrows of love they hold the arrows of love yeah it's in a connection love relationship this is ongoing. This is ongoing. It's all about communication. Fix your communication style, Libra. Have them fix whatever it is that they need to stabilize. Show me for Libra. Flirt with each other. Bring back your romantic side. Yeah. What the fuck? They're all falling over. Codependency at the bottom of the deck. Don't be codependent. This is also codependent energy here. Do not rely on codependence. If codependence is also something that you need to release from past relationships, the way that your love style is, sometimes that we're this this feels like um, when we grow up with really poor role models within love, within our relationship understanding of relationships, codependency can be a huge issue. And if we're bringing that into our lives and relationships on a regular basis, like. That can really poison everything. So anyways, Libra, I'm going to shut it down here. I really may just do another video, traditional style, like, I don't know, Celtic cross or something, just to give you something else. It seems very specific for some. Yeah, it's interesting because you have three queens here. You've got the um, queen of cups in the recent past. You have the queen of staffs, the queen of wands in like your present energy so where you're standing from where you're coming at life at this point and then the outcome you have the queen of swords so i'm going to get into it with you um first glance here the main energy is of uh temperance so balancing energy out healing things communication you know incorporation between two people you have the moon at the bottom of the deck um under the moon, you have the queen of coins in reverse. Interesting. And under there, you have the empress. So there's a lot of feminine energy here, Libra, but also you're an incredibly feminine sign. I feel in regard to this reading, it's almost as if there's... Um, it's like we have to pay attention to like the cards I'm getting here. It's like there seems to be a heavy emphasis on the emotional aspect connected to each card, but also the need to be receptive to one another. Um, I feel that this whole reading is about receptivity to your partner and how you choose to commingle how you choose to balance out your energies you know also what you choose to incorporate you have the ten of wands at the um as the obstacle in regard to what is being balanced out you know we need to learn from our mistakes libra you know again i feel like in the other reading that i read for you right now i feel that there was also an energy where it's like we evaluate some of the things that we bring into our situations versus just dragging all of our shit with us, you know, like learn from what it is that you've experienced and, you know, don't let it be a burden, use it to your advantage and, um, <laughs> yeah, embrace how you, you move forward with somebody at this point, the energy is at a standstill, you know, in the, in the, kind of overall energy but also the what is at the base of the reading is it's like a stagnation within yourself within this relationship it feels like there's a stagnation but a want um and drive for somebody to move forward but it's interesting because in the near future you have the eight of coins in reverse i'm jumping all over the place but yeah, so page of coins in reverse here at the base of the reading. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to make it confusing. Um, it just feels that there's an, an air of stagnancy here um, in regard to the situation. The Queen of Cups in the recent past, you know, um, you may be involved with the Queen of Cups, who's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, this also could be you in regard to just 
your emotional aspects in the situation. Maybe you felt that your emotions um, were not being met in regard to this person in the past. Maybe you felt that things were at a standstill just because there may have been, um, it's like, what is it? It's like an emotional connection to how you view worth money. Some of it is about money. Some of it is about worth. Some of it is about how money makes us feel of value. And these are specific messages for certain people. This isn't for every single person, but take what makes sense to you and work it into your situation. If it doesn't make sense to you, just skip on. Maybe there's something else for you. Um, but either way, the Queen of Cups in the past, it denotes somebody who is more so nurturing. They're loving. They are empathic. They're intuitive. They are a water sign. Um, they are somebody who is in communication with their own emotions and feelings. And maybe sometimes when we are, you know, in our own energy, especially being a Libra, sometimes emotions and feelings can be a little bit hard to connect with. You know, that may have been something of a conflict in the past between you, you know, but I feel that there's a lot of receptive energy in this reading. So I don't think that things are getting shut off. I just think that there's like a, a level of balancing here. In the present energy, you have this page of cups. So, you know, somebody communicating emotional, um, their feelings, their, their apologies, their want and desire to move forward in a new direction. You know, they, um, it feels almost as if There's a need to get over immaturity here in regard to emotions. Something about emotional immaturity as well. Because if that is the case and you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally immature, that is where the no-go happens. That is where we decide to not move forward with somebody. I feel that this is a pivotal moment moment i feel that communication with this person in regard to how you see them emotionally present in the relationship in your interactions with one another how they balance things out emotionally i think that's more so in regard to um what makes or breaks your next decision in moving forward with this person i want to get some clarification on this because i feel it's like this i feel it's 50 50 honestly um, anyhow, moving into the present energy within self, Libra, you have the queen of wands. Now you could very well be getting involved with a fire sign. You could be incorporated with a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be, but, um, regardless for this to be your energy, this is somebody who's fiery. They're passionate. They're excited to go in the direction that they choose. You know, they feel powerful. As they get dropped on the floor, they feel very powerful in regard to what it is that um, they choose to experience and ex experience in their life, you know, and also um, the Queen of Wands is somebody who is more so connected to the spiritual and etheric realms. She's somebody who is um, in connection with the occult. She is connected to um, psychic messages, spirit life, you know, she's, she's, more so open to all aspects, but also within that too, in conjunction with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and that also, uh, the Queen of Wands, just so you know, um, very much means also Pisces to me as well. Um, I get a very strong Pisces vibe from this. This is also Pisces, but in regard to what I was saying, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups both being here and both being in the aspects apart from each other in the way that they're placed it's almost as if some of the way that um they need to communicate and blend and i feel that that's more so you or this person that you're dealing with i feel it's a direct connection here but i feel that they need to blend how they feel um emotionally strong here how they feel heard how they feel connected with their partner you know there's a definite level of connection that needs to be met here and that's where the bond happens that's when the bond strengthens here 
Yeah, it's very powerful, but the emotions need to be balanced out. It can't just be fire energy. It can't just be go. You need to emotionally, emotionally balance the situation out. What's coming at you, what's coming to you, and in your energy that is presented is the Two of Cups. You know, this is a union between two people. This is a connection that is loving, it's sincere, it's devoted. Um, I feel very much, um, <laughs> here you have two people, do you see the snake writhed around their wrists and their arms and into the cups? It very much reminds me of the Caduza. Um, the Caduza is the hospital sign, the snakes, you know, that go to the top. The Caduza is, um, it's basically, it's it's our health, it's our life force, but it's also medical. I feel that this is something that can go the long haul. This is something that goes the distance. Uh, Till death do me part, do us part in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. That's what I'm feeling here. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to run off and marry this person, but I feel that there's a definite level of, it's like a connection between how you care for one another, how, you know, in sickness and in health doesn't mean like somebody's dying of something. I feel that that's more like it brings out the nurturing aspects in this relationship. It highlights the way that you nurture one another. That's what I'm feeling. So hopes and fears, we have the two of coins, okay? Um, balance, you know, feeling out of balance, like, for that to be the hopes and fears and concerns area, I don't think that that's so terrible. I really don't. I'm going to clarify it to see what a little bit more of it is about. But honestly, I feel that it's more so in regard to emotions. I feel that it's more so in regard to, um, I don't know, maybe emotional outbursts as well, but emotions and how we can communicate things, you know, how to feel free in our communication within emotions. Um, in, as a final card, you have the Queen of Swords. So I feel that whatever you're going to be doing here, you are looking at with a level of discernment that is uncanny to no other. I feel that you are going to be very effective in how you choose to use your words and what you choose in the situation. I feel like you have a lot of say in this situation, more so than you know. Or more so than you're used to. Okay. She's down there, but I'm going to clarify the Queen of Wands. Show me the Queen of Wands, please, for Libra. So the Three of Swords and the Sun, Leo energy. You know, if there has been um, an imbalance within the communication, if somebody's been snappy or if somebody has been um, aggressive in how they treat somebody in regard to their emotions or if that's something where it's like an emotional um, attack you know you need to be careful in in how you go about that and what you contribute to that um, yeah move move forward in confidence I feel but also move forward with the knowledge of I need to keep this person's emotions in mind, you know, I need to keep them in mind. I don't feel that this situation is like falling apart. I feel that this is a shift in this. You, you have love here. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have justice. Um, it feels like what what is what has been wronged, whatever situation that has been problematic for you both, you illuminate everything through communication. You bring sight to what it is that you experience here. I think you um, incorporate a lot of wisdom in regard to how you've grown in the way that you communicate with this person. This feels, again, like I'm tapping into the energy for your other reading. This may be connected. Who knows? Show me the Two of Cups. The Eight of Swords, Libra. In your head about the love, in your head about the connection, in your head about the value and the worth and the bond. And is the bond strong enough? Is this worth giving my energy towards, Libra? 
You have the hanging man at the bottom of the deck and death under that. The hanging dragon with death dragon. So being in your head a lot about this situation, but I think it's almost like you're at this standstill within yourself where it's like your evaluation process of this. It's almost like you have to evaluate the evaluation process. Like, is this too long? Is this dragging it out too long? Is this... It's almost like you have to reinvent the wheel of yourself. Is that what it is? Yes. Show me the Eight of Swords. The Five of Swords. Yeah, this is self sabotory energy with the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, you have a lot of Swords energy here. So, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords. You need to communicate clearly in regard to how you feel about this person. If this is what you feel, if you feel love for this person, tell them. Don't let them stagnate. Don't let them worry. Illuminate them with the light of your words. Tell them how you feel. Don't self-sabotage. Don't put yourself on hold. Don't keep <laughs> energy stagnant. If you need to tell somebody how you feel, you can go ahead and do it. And, you know, it's at the bottom of him. The Seven of Wands, you're defensive... You're defensive about how you want to communicate this. And does it bring a fight? I don't know. Does it bring up feelings of frustration? Probably. But it is in regard to love. <laughs> it's in regard to a lot of love. You have the Ace of Cups with the King of Cups. This is all in regard to the Queen of Cups. This is a loving situation. It's a loving relationship. Whatever this is, there needs to be a balancing out of energies, Libra. You have king and queen of cups here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. But I feel more that this is like a balancing out of emotional energies in regard to one another. I don't feel that this is like... The worst thing I feel you need to talk about whatever it is that you need to talk about and like not like somebody's hurt here and you don't need to gloss over it but you also don't need to be really really hard in how you move forward into it I think you need to ease up or something like something you know this guy's really really he's very blunt about how he communicates he's very quick in how he communicates but also the truth be told he really does get down to the bottom of it when all is said and done. I just think that, you know, the Five of Swords, manipulation also is how we manipulate things due to our own fears. It's not like you have the intentions to manipulate something, like, like you're consciously being devious. Sometimes we manipulate situations by not being authentic with our feelings with ourselves, with how we communicate, what it is that we feel. This queen is all about feelings. You know, Libra, I also feel like in one of your other readings, yeah, there was a queen of, queen of cups very much, very prominent. I think in that one, though, there was like some deception that was involved. I don't know if these are linking up, but who knows? Maybe, maybe not. You're the one that would know. <sighs> Show me the Queen of Cups for Libra. So bottom of the deck for the Queen of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups, more water energy. You have a lot of cards that fell out here. So I'm just going to read them. You have the Fool. You have the Emperor. You have the Seven of Swords. You have the Hierophant. And you have Strength. Let me take a peek at this for a second. In regard to the Queen of Cups. Why is the Seven of Swords here for the Queen of Cups? This Queen has been through a lot. This Queen has been through a lot. She's harboring things from past energy. She's harboring energy from past people. She's 
learning how to let it go, but she's still holding on to it. This is something, you know, whoever this water sign is, if they're having a hard time letting go of their past or if they're having a hard time trusting the situation with you, you need to allow them some understanding. You need to allow them the knowledge that you know that they're having a hard time releasing some of this energy and that you're supportive of it. You need to let them know that. You need to communicate that to this person if this is for you, you know, if this situation resonates with you. That Queen of Sword, Queen of Wands energy, that fiery energy, passion, love, compassion. Be conscious of how you speak to this person. I think in the last reading I was mentioning there was some necessary energy to clear up about like needing to be right or being heard all the time like if that's how you've acted like in your life or with this person like be conscious of that too just because it may be of detriment in your situation it may be something that's holding you back but you have the fool the emperor and the hierophant with strength as well strength i feel that it, oh here's that caduza that I was talking about, that serpent energy, the kundalini energy. There's the Kedusa in regard to love. You have a lion here and the dragon. You may be dealing with a Libra. Somebody may be, I'm sorry, Libra, you may be dealing with a Leo. Sorry, you may be dealing with a Leo as well. You have uh, water Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you have the Queen of Swords, Air, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and you also have the Queen of Wands, which is um, Libra, I'm sorry, Leo, um, Sagittarius, and, um, oh, good Lord, Aries. Yeah, but it's in regard to love. I feel that you need to be patient. Don't. Yeah, you need to be patient. You know what? I feel that this is what this is about, though, being patient in regard to how you communicate with them. Letting them know that you're there to offer them balance or they to you. This is a discerning moment. Yeah, but what it leads to is a new beginning in regard to commitment. What it leads to is a stabilization of a new path, a new direction. Something very strong. This is also the Aries card as well. If that's if you're dealing with a fire sign, could be Aries or Leo. Who knows? Could be anybody. But this this card denotes um, masculine energy. It denotes an Aries. It denotes um, somebody who is more so the father type. You know, they are very sincere about how they go about stabilizing life. They want to nurture you. They want to take care of the situation. They may not be the most emotionally like present person, but they are emotional. You know, they do process things. It's just I think sometimes that they can be a little bit more blunt in how they go about life stabilizing life they they're do-gooders they do very very well not do-gooders like they're out to just do good lollipops and bullshit but like they do good things in this world for the people that they love and care for and this person that they care for is very much what they want but that person is dealing with a lot of pain in regard to what they've experienced in their relationships. Queen of Cups. Okay. Show me the Page of Cups. Show me the Page of Cups. So it's you making the offer, Libra, the Queen of Swords. But you're still holding on. You have this Eight of Coins here in the near future. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the four of pentacles in regard to moving forward with this person you are still evaluating here what is it though you know if you're not moving forward with them you need to be conscious in how you communicate emotions to them or an apology to them i'm not sure this is again about communication show me the eight of coins in reverse i, th I think that you don't know if they're sincere 
the eight of wands you don't know if you want to move forward with them it's like you have feelings for this person this person has feelings for you whatever it is there's definite feelings here there's emotional connection here with this person most definitely but it feels like this came out on its side you know it feels like this is like 50 50 like you're not sure if they're in it for real you're not sure if they are emotionally balanced you're not sure if what they're telling you is legit you're not sure about your emotions in regard to moving forward and putting forth energy and like action into this like it's like you're there you're at the precipice of doing that you're at the beginning of doing that but it's like not quite there yet show me the page of coins in reverse so interesting okay so you haven't moved here there's a stagnation energy of stagnation here but it is in regard to what you want in your life it is in regard to your wish fulfillment but you have the choice of being single or moving forward with this person i feel that there's a lot of vacillation here but whatever it is that's chosen you have the page of cups again leo libra i'm sorry with the um the ace of coins so this is a beginning that's slow and steady but this is something that you need to communicate i feel like you're worried more so about how to convey the stability of the situation how to like communicate the stability of the situation with this person versus just like jumping in and saying go you know <sighs> that's why nothing's been moving and either this person has been debating whether or not to be single or you have. I don't think that this is a situation that you're out of. I think that you're in this situation with somebody. Um, I think that it's been kind of holding like a stagnation aspect to it just because you're not sure if this is the right person or you're not sure if this is somebody that you can move forward with like in a sure-footed way. Like there's something about an evaluation of the trust within how you experience this person or how they experience you. Show me the Queen of Swords. So you have the King of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Page of Coins, and the Four of Cups. So interestingly enough, because she's on the bottom of the table, but the Queen of Wands here, now you have the counterpart, the King of Wands, you know, if you're giving to this person, there's a passionate energy here. You know, it's definitely, um, this is good feeling. This is soulmate energy. It's also um, somebody from your soul tribe, somebody from your past. Um, it could also be communicating a sense of um, reconnection and reconciliation within this coming to... Um, I just, I feel like there's been a standstill here. I don't feel that this, that this person is off the table. I feel that this is more like communicating what it is that you want to do here. And again, we have now the page of coins, but upright. So moving slowly, sure-footedly into something, you know, I feel with this four of cups too. I don't think that it's just like, no, I'm not going to take the offer. Show me the four of cups. Yeah. So you have the wheel of fortune and you have the page of wands in regard to four of cups. You have not been making or making this offer to this person because you've been unsure. But you know what? I feel that you are more so standing in a position where it's like you are... <laughs> I feel like at the edge of saying yes, at the edge of saying go, more, more is needed here. And you have the five of cups in reverse. So this is letting go of worry. This is letting go of frustration. This person may have been worrying that you weren't going to be offering them anything or moving forward. But it looks like that is the possibility moving forward. Looks like it's on the table. You have the queen of swords here with the page of cups offering your word or final decision. Yeah. 
there again, the page of cups, the ace of coins as well. This is a it's love. It's slow building. Is somebody incredibly slow here? I don't know. The Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck for all of that, though. So the Queen of Swords in regard to the Queen of Cups. Again, water sign energy. Libra, you... <laughs> You had the Queen of Cups in one of your other readings, I think at the beginning of this month, maybe, or maybe it was last month, where she was incredibly prominent, okay? Something was going on with the Queen of Cups, and she's present here again. So, yeah, I, um, I don't know, show me templates. I don't feel these cards. These are the ones that popped out here. I feel the ones that popped out on the table, though. Um, you have the High Priestess, you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Hangman. So this is in regard to what it is that you want. This is balancing out your emotions and your feelings. I feel like somebody's just fucking scared here. But, like, this is what they want of the situation. The Ten of Cups, it's emotionally... It's, it's something that they want emotionally. It's good for you. You have the high priestess. I'm sorry, you have the, yeah, the high priestess and the hangman. Go inside yourself. Trust your emotions. Trust your energy of intuition within this situation. I think that it's positive. I just think that you need to get out of your own way. Good God, this is a half an hour reading. I'm sorry. Show me for Libra. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. New love. So this may be scary, it may be a new love situation, but also you may have children already in the mix in regard to your life. This may be why you're hesitating with this person. Give me one more. One more. You deserve love and wedding. With very soon at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may be getting married to this person eventually. Some of you may be realizing that you do deserve love and you need to get out of your own way in regard to att attaining it. And once you do, things happen to move very, very soon. All right, Libra, I'm going to shut it down here.